lizards, iguanas, lizards, western lizards, turtles, amphibians, giant reptiles, amphibians, amphibians, reptiles, and amphibians, giant snakes. Okay, Google, where are my books about Bushmasters? Your books about Bushmasters are on the upstairs bookshelf. Fair enough. Wouldn't have any information if it wasn't for Google. One thing I just don't quite understand is in this book right here, Venomous Snakes of the Western Hemisphere, great read by the way if you're into venomous snakes, it actually says patterns and behavior of the snakes in the genus of Lachesis, or Bushmasters, uh, are nocturnal and usually appear to be in the state of tempore during the daylight hours, which means they sleep. You're nocturnal, you don't come out during the day, typically. Uh, during the breeding season, however, males will be ready to combat and are awake and irritable during the day. Kind of interesting. Uh, typically, Lachesis takes refuge beneath fallen trees, rodent burrows, and excavations, particularly that of the agouti, or the paca, or the spiny rats, and even the armadillos, or in the rocky caves. That's kind of neat. And then if I go ahead and go over here, this is a very interesting book about the life of Raymond Dittmore. Uh, book's actually called Bushmasters. Who would have thought it? But a very good book, great read. Back in 1989, that's 1989, that's 131 years ago, it was known, already known about, a hunter and a plantation owner uh, found out the hard way. Let's back up just a little bit. Luckily enough, this ghastly creature was uncommon. Although Mole learned that the snake was one of several which slithered in the burrows of the armadillo, the agouti, and the paca. Uh, locals, okay, doesn't matter. It would go down here, like I said, 1989, a plantation owner learned when he withdrew his arm, a snake was later identified as a bushmaster was hanging off of his thumb. So he actually reached into a burrow, and one of you guys bit him as he pulled his hand back. You were still attached. That's, it's weird that you were in a burrow there, because apparently you guys don't live in burrows. Um, let's see right over here. This is, let's see what book this is. Serpents of Costa Rica or Snakes of Costa Rica. It says habits. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and right here. Habits of the species is terrestrial. Although biology is unknown of Lachesis, it usually occupies subterranean caver cavities and mammal, mammal burrows as temporary retreats. That's weird, I got three really good pieces of literature right here, all talking about the fact that you live inside burrows. Yet other people on the internet don't think that you do. They don't think that you ever go underground. They don't think that you live underground. I'm not saying you spend all your time underground, but you do spend the vast majority of it. I just want you to know that you're young. I understand you, you don't know a lot yet because you're a baby. I mean, you're just a baby blackhead, but I feel like you should know this stuff. Um, let's bounce back to here because I actually have a correction because I said something real stupid a while back. I actually think in the video I stated it's possible that you lived in this place, but I just want to go ahead and clarify. Right here, uh, Melanocephala, black-headed Bushmasters, live inside this little tiny range of Costa Rica, and Stenophrys live up here along the coast. So you don't actually cross over. I mean, if you go like, like you do, but you're not actually in the same range. Like you're not, you're right here, you're here, they're here. You're not actually cross. That was my mistake. I'm not perfect. I mean, I read a lot, but I don't know everything yet. And sometimes when I get on camera, I get a little nervous. And when you put a Bushmaster in the mix, I definitely get nervous. And I start paying attention to you more than I pay attention to words. I screw up sometimes, little dude. I'm really sorry. 
I hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. But uh, anyway, that happens. Now, I've also been reading through these. Let's see, there was one talking about the size. So if I come back to this page right here, it actually talks a little bit about the sizes of the, the Bushmasters, you know, what we're teaching you about. Uh, it says that they've actually encountered three meter long Acrodata, which there's Lachesis muda, which is the South American. There's Lachesis tenophries, which is the uh, Central American. And then there's you, the blackhead, which is Melanocephala. Um, I could be saying that slightly wrong. Everybody says that a little different. That's how I say it. But then there's also Acrodata and Rombieta. Now, Acrodata and Rombieta, it's still very, eh, eh, we don't know if you're a real species. Let's face it, you know, you're a real species, but we don't know if they're a real species. But right here it says Acrodata. They found one that was three meters long. That's big, that's like nine foot, right? Um, then right here it says that they had found a Muda. The largest Muda they had found was 2.91 meters. Very impressive. Um, it says that the uh, Melanocephalic U are actually, and the Stenophrys are a little bit stouter. Uh, but they can't really confirm max, maximum size. Now I've read other places that you guys just don't get as big. Um, I'm gonna stand by that. Since they're finding Muda that are nine foot, um, and they're finding, you know, uh, Acrodata that's nine foot, and I mean, the biggest one of you we've seen recently is like eight, eight and a half foot. I'm gonna say that you're a little bit smaller. I mean, I guess time will tell once we learn more about you. I mean, I was reading a book just the other day that 30 years ago, they didn't even know blackheads were a thing. They didn't even know that you existed. So we're still all learning about you. But, uh, I'm not going to call anybody out on misinformation, but there is some out there. But at the same time, we're, we're all learning. I'm still learning. So with that being said, if you guys really want to learn about these, you should pick up some of these amazing books. You know, this book right here, Bushmasters, uh, it's talking about the life of uh, uh, Raymond Dittmar. Very, very interesting, but it's not necessarily there for the knowledge. Very interesting book. Great read if you're bored, but it's more of a story, not really necessarily going into the biology and everything. This book right here, if you want to learn where animals live, which clearly I need to read more of, Venomous Reptiles of the Western Hemisphere. This is volume one. There's also volume two. That is a wealth of knowledge. This book I haven't got too far into yet, but it's great to reference, great to read over. Um, there's so many more, so many more books, but I think you should definitely get your knowledge from here if you want to learn more about these. If you're just coming just to see some beautiful snakes and possibly take away a little bit of knowledge, I, I wouldn't be writing books on the knowledge that I spill out, or any other YouTuber for that matter. But uh, definitely come and enjoy the animals, you know? Anyway, do appreciate you watching this. Make sure you subscribe. I am back. I'm back for good. I just had to take a little bit of a break. Too much stress. I'm here again. So let's do this. Have a good night.